What's going on, boxing fans? It's your boy, Pool Counter Boxing, coming back at you for the boxing heads and the boxing minds. Here we have uh, Oscar Valdez, you know what I'm saying, right after the uh, Shakur Stevenson uh, fight. Uh, of course, Shakur Stevenson won, you know what I'm saying, a unanimous decision. Um, uh, it's a super unanimous decision because nobody has ever seen a person who didn't even have a chance in the fight. So we're here to interview Oscar Valdez, um, you know, about his experience, you know what I'm saying, uh, fighting Shakur Stevenson. How you doing, Mr. Oscar Valdez? Well, well how you doing, sir? How you, how you doing, Mr. Mr. Poole Counter? Yes, sir. Um, so, you know what I'm saying, you, you, you fought hard and, um, you know, how, when did you know that, you know, saying Shakur Stevenson was just, you know, he was just, you know, uh, a superior boxer. What, when did, when did you find that out? You know what I'm saying? Well, basically from round one, um, I mean, from the very beginning, you know, uh, as soon as the bell rung, um, you know, he just slipped everything. I couldn't touch him. So you saying that, uh, you, you couldn't, you couldn't land a punch on Shakur Stevenson. I, and I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. I mean, I saw that, but you knew from round one that uh, he wasn't going to be competitive in this fight? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Um, I, you know, I, I tried, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I tried my left hook and it didn't connect and Stevenson was just too fast. Um, you know what I'm saying? I tried my best. You know what I'm saying? I changed levels. Um, I tried my changing levels, and he would just move. He wouldn't stay still, and um, and let me hit him. Oh, well, okay, Mr. Uh, Valdez. Uh, well, you know, it, it seems like you know at one point in the fight, you know, what I'm saying, well, most points in the fight, you was overcommitting and off balance, and uh, that's how Stevenson was able to knock you down. Were you hurt at all? Well, really, just my pride. You know, my pride was hurt. Um, you know, I looked over in the corner and, um, you know, Eddie Reynoso was telling me to, you know what I'm saying, press. And he was telling me to cut off the ring. But, you know what I'm saying, I didn't have the uh, athletic ability to cut off the ring. Uh, Stevenson, he was just hitting me with, um, you know, it looked like every time I turned around, he was hitting me with uh, four or five combinations. And... Um, I just couldn't overcome it, you know what I'm saying? I, I, every time I swing, he wasn't there. And, um, you know, basically, he's just a better fighter. Oh, well, you know what I'm saying, Mr. Mr. Os Oscar Valdez, you are very uh, candid. Um, well, well, tell me, did you think that, um, what was the game plan um, going into the fight? You know what I'm saying? Because you seem very confident. You seem very poised, you know what I'm saying? Very comfortable, you know, with Canelo behind you. Um, what, what was the game plan? You, Eddie Reynoso, and um, Canelo, you know, what, what plan was it? What was the game plan? Well, the game plan was to go in there and pressure uh, Shakur Stevenson and, you know, knock him out. But apparently, um, apparently he, he has some kind of, um, you know, he has some kind of um, sixth sense. He could just sense when the punches are coming. Man, I, I went in there and, and I was swinging and it's like, he was like a ghost, man. You know, it's like, I'm saying, you know, I, I was totally outclassed. Um, you know, I was so, totally discouraged from round one. Um, I, you know, this is why Eddie said, you know, don't fight the African-American fighters. You know what I'm saying? He said, they, they, they're they like little jumping beings. They're like, they're, they're like, they're like rabbits. You know what I'm saying? You, you just little squirrels, you know? You can't hit a rabbit or squirrel. You know what I'm saying? They're just too fast. You know what I'm saying? The reflexes and his skill, you know, it it, it really, um, you know, it really had me uh, discouraged. Well, um, you know, what about uh, Canelo? Did Canelo have uh, any, you know what I'm saying, any insight to give you or any advice to help you, you know, because he fights a lot of, uh, you know what I'm saying, he's got a lot of experience and he got a lot of experience fighting certain black fighters. So what did Canelo, uh, did he have any input? 
Well, uh, I looked over it and uh, Canelo, he was gone. And, um, you know what I'm saying, he left in the second round. Um, and, you know, nobody could find him. And I was asking in the corner, Eddie, I said, where's Canelo? He said Canelo had left, you know what I'm saying, after the first round. And so, you know, um, you know, I went, I went to the gym yesterday and the, uh, the doors were locked. They had changed the locks. And uh, there was a note on the door saying that, you know, you're no longer part of, um, you know what I'm saying, the, the uh, Reynoso's Canelo team. And, you know what I'm saying, there was a little, um, there, there was a little uh, coupon for, um, you know, Taco Bell. So, so you mean tell me that uh, Canelo left the fight after the first round? That's correct. So, um, but what, well, well, where do you go from here, Mr. Oscar Valdez? Um, you know what I'm saying? You know, this is just one loss. It's just your only loss. And, um, you know what I'm saying? You, it's only one defeat. Uh, do you want a rematch? Absolutely not. Um, I'm not fighting any more black fighters. Um, Canelo told me uh, he's not fighting any black fighters anymore. Not at least not any good ones. Um, you know what I'm saying? And you know, you know, it's it's all good. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel pretty bad about my performance, and you know, but I gave it all I got, and that's all I care about. You know, I don't care what nobody say. You know what I'm saying? You know, Stevenson, he just, you know, he's 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 a phenomenon. You know what I'm saying? But you know. Um, you know, he's a great champion, you know what I'm saying? You know, um, you know what I'm saying? Fuck Canelo. Fuck you, Canelo. You know what I'm saying? I don't care. I, 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 I did everything I could. I did everything I could. Fuck you, Canelo. You know what I'm saying? Gonna change the locks on the nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. That's how y'all treat me and shit after all this, you know, via Mexico. That, 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 that's how you do me uh, in, in, in my worst time. You know what I'm saying? Y'all knew he was gonna, y'all knew Stevenson was gonna whip my ass. Y'all knew that. You won't fight Jamal. You won't fight, you won't fight Jamal or David. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I ain't gonna be the only one, you know what I'm saying, all, all looking crazy out here and stuff. You know, you know what, man? You know what I'm saying? Don't even worry about it, man. You know, y'all can lock me out the gym. You know what I'm saying? You know, I know, I know you took your little car back. You know what I'm saying? You took your little house back. You know what I'm saying? You let me stay in. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh huh. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. But you know, you know, things come back around. That's I hope Bill will whip your ass, Canelo. I hope Bill will whip your ass. Uh, excuse, excuse me, Oscar Valdez. Please, sir. Please, sir. Please, just calm down. But uh, thank you. Thank you for the interview. This has been Pool Kind of Boxing. Make sure you smash the like button and subscribe to my channel for more hardcore boxing content. See you guys in the next one.